In this video, we'll be looking into construction of PDA using final state method. So the first example is to design a PDA for the language a to the power n, b to the power n, where n is greater than or equal to 0 using F, uh, FSM. So in FSM, we should mainly remember uh, that strings would be used. So depending on the language, uh, elements would be popped or uh, pushed onto the stack or from the stack. So now, uh, uh, in the given question, we have L is equal to A, A to the power N, B to the power N. So first, let's assume a string. Let's take a string obeying this language. That is, let's take A square, B square, A, A, B, B. Okay. So firstly, we need to start, uh, firstly, we need to start by pushing the elements onto the stack. So let's draw a stack here. So first we have S here. S represents that the stack is empty. The initial state of that uh, stack, empty stack. Then with A, when A is introduced, I should add, I should insert A into the stack. So I'll insert A onto the stack. Then when again A is introduced, I'll again, int I'll again introduce or push A into the stack. So we need to start uh, by pushing all A's onto the stack. So then for every A, there has to be a matching B. Okay. So while dealing with B, we'll be popping out A's. So that's how it's uh, done. So I'll show you here. After two A's, I have lambda here because there's, there's a different state, right? From A, the values, the alphabets are different. It's changing to B. So after two A's, I have a lambda here. So when lambda is encountered, there is a change from one state to another. And whatever is there on top of stack would be retained as it is. So next I have A, A, I have B here. So when B is there, I should find one matching A. So in place of this A, I'll put lambda, then A and S. Again, I have A, A, B, B. So again, in place of this A, I'll put lambda and I'll put S. Uh, popping here refers to inserting or replacing A by lambda. When you replace A by lambda, it becomes empty, right? So that's how it is. So here I'll be left out with just A. So here I have A, A, B, B. And after this, there's nothing. So let's assume there's lambda here. So when lambda is further encountered, there would be a change in the state. So it changes from Q1 to Q2. So once lambda is encountered, all contents of W are uh, being checked. So there's a state change. And it also tells that the stack is empty, which is denoted by S here. So now that we are done with the stack, our uh, next step is to draw the transition diagram. So I have three states here, Q0 being the start state. Then I have Q1 here. And then I have Q2 being the final state here. So. So firstly, uh, in order to write the transitions, it has to be of um, this particular order. So firstly here, on top of stack, what is there? That should be there. Input should be there. And whatever is remaining contents of stack should be there. So I'll start with uh, top of stack here. I have S and when input is A, Remaining on the stack A is introduced, right? So on the stack, what are what are remaining A and S is remaining. Now on top of stack, I have A here and again A is introduced. So what is remaining in the stack? I have A, A, S here. Then after that, this is referring to the, the this is in the same state, right? Q naught. So uh, when you come here, I have A, A and Lambda here. So on top of stack, I have A. And then there's a lambda here. So when lambda is here, again, A is only retained here. So I can write, uh, so I can write A. Okay, so 
yeah so this i need not write it here so moving on to the next moving on to the next i can write so when a is on the top on top of stack i have b here it is changed to lambda and the state is changed right so a a on i have i am inserting b remaining contents are lambda right so there is a change in the state next i have uh, here i have a here i have a on top of stack again b is introduced on top of stack i have a input is b the remaining contents are lambda here right so it is the self loop only then coming to from q1 to q2 the transition would happen when i have s just s is there here right and over lambda i should get s itself so then uh, the transition happens so if suppose there's uh, here it's n greater than equal to 0 when n is equal to 0 the uh, the string would be lambda right so uh, there's a direct transition from q0 to q2 when it is s lambda s when the input is lambda i hope you have understood how to construct the transition diagram my next step is to write the transition function so to write the transition function i need to refer the transition diagram so it would comprise of the state the pda grammar and here i'll write the transitions happening transitions firstly i the state would be mentioned followed by what is on top of stack and then what is the input string would be mentioned which would be equal to either the state can remain in same or the state can change followed by that i have whatever is remaining on the stack so let me write it here so i have uh, in q not state i have s a and as and then in q not i have a a and as then i have on q not i have a b and lambda then in q not i have s lambda and s then on q1 i have a b and lambda and q1 i have s lambda and s so writing the transition functions here so firstly let me write the transition symbol here first the state so here q not state is there and what is on top of stack on top of stack i have s here and what is the input symbol input here i have a right so a so similarly i'll write for all others q not a and small a q not a and small b q not s and lambda q1 a and b and here q1 s and lambda the transitions would be from q not uh, if uh, we should check if if it's in the same state or there's a change in state so here q s a if you consider s a s s a s it's in the same state right so let me put q not and whatever is remaining on the stack so remaining stack here i have as so let me write as here here also q not aa here i have q1 and lambda because lambda is there on on top of stack here i have q2 directly q2 and lambda q2 and s sorry s was on top of stack here i have q1 and lambda here i have q2 and s so here i am done with writing the transition functions of the of the given language my next step is to define so in order to define the pda i know that pda is equal to q sigma tau transition function q not z not and f where q uh, stands for all the states here so i have q not q1 and q2 states and sigma is what what uh, i have considered a and b in sigma right so a and b tau comprises of all the uh, states here so s and a are two states transition function i have defined here q not the start state is q not it's, itself z not z not is the q not is the initial state and z not is the start state for the stack so i have s here 
and f being q2 so i am done with defining the pda my next step is to trace further uh, any string so let me consider one string w is equal to a a b b so i'll trace the which the transition functions which i have obtained and from the transition diagram the pda i have obtained i'll trace for this uh, string and check if if it's valid or not so initial configuration of initial configuration of uh, like the strings is that firstly it should comprise of the initial state and then the start state and then the string which needs to be uh, traced so writing it here i have q not s and here i have a a b b so if you have watched my previous videos i have explained about instantaneous description so i'll be performing uh, that particular operation here so here i'll consider q not s and a transition of q not s and a i would get q not and a s so here it would be q not in place of s i have a s and in place of a there's nothing here so i'll put lambda if lambda then it could be neglected neglected i have a b b remaining again finding trans uh, instantaneous description of that q not a and a again q not a and a so again i would have q not a and a i have again q not a a and uh, q not a a followed by that i have this a would be neglected so i have s is there then i have b b here next i have uh, after a a after a a i have lambda here because there's a change of alphabet right so considering q not a and lambda q not a and lambda is not there that means it's lambda only so this a would be neglected so i'll be remaining with q not a s b b yeah so i'll consider q not a and b so q not a and b i get q1 lambda so there's a change in state from q not to q1 in place of uh, a i should put lambda and in place of b also i should put lambda so i'll be remaining with q1 s and b transition of q1 s b or transition of q1 s and b there's nothing so let's consider it it leads to lambda only so it leads to q1 s uh, q1 s q1 s and lambda let me write lambda here so it would lead to q1 a b q1 a, q1 s b it would lead to q2 s and lambda so when i have q2 s and lambda here i i have got the final state followed by s s represents that the stack is empty and lambda tells that the string is traced so in case of final state method if i get the uh, the result of instantaneous description as this it refers that the pda which i have obtained is correct for the language and this string is accepted so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you